Okay, uh, welcome to this PHP tutorial series. Um, in this series we're going to be looking at how to sort of read and manipulate data from an RSS feed. Um, so the example we're going to be using to sort of demonstrate this is this feed from the BBC News website. So you can, if you want to sort of follow along you need to have be using the same feed because they all have different, well RSS feeds are fairly standard but they can have different names so if you want to follow along you should be using the same feed. Um, so if we go to the BBC News website, which I've got here, it's just bbc.co.uk slash news, um, and then there is this RSS button at the top right. And if you just copy the link to that, that's the link that I'll be using in the um, actual sort of part one, you know, main tutorial. Um, so that's the feed that we were displaying here. And this is actually the page that we're going to be creating. So we're going to be getting the information, all of the information that is provided by the feed and displaying it on this page. Um, this does include namespaced content, so this is sort of the main part of this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, access content. I don't know how you say in namespaces. Um, so you may have seen in an RSS feed or in any sort of XML document before, the uh, element of the document has a colon in it, and this is a namespace. So if it was like, for example, we're going to be using media colon thumbnail, that's thumbnail in the media namespace, um, and the simple XML. Uh, class that comes with PHP does have a way to uh, deal with this so you don't have to resort to awkward workarounds like replacing all the colons um, and using regular expressions and things like that. So I'm going to be showing you how to deal with that and sort of take you through the process of how I sort of work this out so it won't just be showing you exactly what to do. Um, I'm going to go through all the like I started by sort of outputting the feed having a bit of a look at it so we're going to go through all of that. So join me in part one where we will sort of get going, I guess.